What's up guys? Uh, sorry for my lack of videos like this, like where I'm actually in front of the camera. It's been mostly gameplay, commercials, and you know, trailers and stuff. Um, as you can see behind me, I moved recently, so everything's packed up, been super busy. Um, but I do promise to get more, you know, good content out. Uh, we got a good one today. I have my entire retro collection. Wait, do I have my entire retro collection? The Game Boy games are not in here. I'll do a separate video for Game Boy. How about that? Um, so, uh, little little backstory here. Way back when, probably like 20 years ago, maybe, I uh, was moving. I was a teenager. My family was moving out of our house. I had a pretty decent size uh, retro collection. Was it retro back then? You know what I mean. It was. It's retro by today's standards and uh, mid move like we're not at the house we're moving from we're at the other house someone broke in and stole all the games that were in my collection I had drawers upon drawers of like NES Super Nintendo N64 Game Boy all stolen so uh, I built back some of it but I don't remember what all I bought again I remember buying the Zelda games again but aside from that, like game hunting and stuff that I would do, I don't remember what I got. Um, so this is this is gonna be a surprising to me too. There might be some good stuff in here. We'll see. Um, it's a big tote just full of games. Well, I just saw one on top that I do remember getting. That is a it's a, it's a good one. Uh, so yeah, sit back, relax, and uh, let's see what's in here. There's also stuff besides games in here if you want to see that. I don't know if you do. You can't even tell me if you want to see it, so it's up to me. But uh, let's get started. First up here, by the way, I'm not gonna go system by system because this is all mixed in here. So we're just gonna get a mismatch, mi mismatch, mix match, hodge, hodgepodge, hodgepodge? Anyways, Rad Racer. So yeah, uh, pretty clean copy too right there. I don't know what any of these games are like. I don't know if they're rare. I'm not saying that one's rare, but I'm just saying like, I don't know what's rare and what's not in here. So if, if something in here is like pretty good, let me know. If Solar Jetman, as I bang it on the desk, good old classic Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt. Super Mario Bros. 3. But yeah, since since they were all stolen and I built back a little bit, it's kind of uh, tainted my want to collect retro games because since then the prices have shot up and it's just disheartening, you know. TMNT, classic. Super hard game, but classic. Yeah, I don't remember this one at all. To the Earth. Is this hard to find? Is this uncommon? I don't remember. I, don't, I've, I feel like I've never seen that game before, but obviously I have because I put it in this tote. We have a... Uh, Trojan, and it's from Maux Video Game Exchange. Ugh. We have Double Dribble. This is a fun game. Uh, my friend and I used to play this a lot, and uh, one time we were not listening to his mom. I don't remember what she told us to do, but she came in and ripped the NES like out of the wall. And yeah, good memory with that game. We have Chris Everett and Ivan Lindell in Top Players Tennis. I don't know who they are, but they gotta be pretty good at tennis if they got a video game. We have the two that I do remember buying back because this is this series is near and dear to my heart. Legend of Zelda. Hence why these are the only two in sleeves. <laughs> and Zelda 2, Adventure of Link. What else we got in here? I'm, I'm excited for this. I haven't seen these wizards and warriors. Sorry, I keep hitting the mic. Sky Shark. This is a fun game. Base is loaded three with a little 495 sticker on it. I love game store stickers. I used to hate it. I mean, there's gonna be a day, guys. There's gonna be a day where we like GameStop stickers on our games. It's just gonna happen. Mega Man 2, I had this complete in box and it got stolen. <laughs> so sad. 
Metal Gear, the OG. Ooh, what is wrong with the focus? Do I have autofocus on? Hang on, let me turn off autofocus. Uh, focus, auto, get out of here with that. We don't want to autofocus. Yoshi's Cookie. Isn't this on a different system too? Let me know. I said I wasn't gonna go system by system, but right now all I'm giving you are NES games, but there's other stuff in here, don't worry. Uh, sen what, what, how do you say that? Section Z. I love these 80s looking Capcom covers. Back to the Future, great movie. I've never played the game though. Spelunker? Is this, is, is this the uh, precursor to Spelunky? Probably not, but uh, oh well. Baseball. And are you a true retro collector if you don't have more than one copy of this in your collection? Well, we have NES play action football. Just Duck Hunt, my third Duck Hunt copy. I need to start sitting these games somewhere else soon. Racket Attack, it's like my third or second tennis game. Oh yeah, this is a classic right here. Excite Bike and uh, Andy Voiles, I appreciate it. Appreciate it, Andy, thanks for that Excite Bike. We have Toxic Crusaders. How <laughs> that hurt. We have Karate Champ. Watch me pull out like a world Nintendo, what's it called? You know, the really expensive one, the Nintendo challenge thing. How do I not That's gonna bug me now. You know what I'm talking about. Oh. Um. Another copy of Mario 3. Wait, do I have the two different ones? We gotta check, guys, we gotta check. There's two different variants of the Mario 3 cover, and I want to see if I have the other one. No, they're the same. Oh well. We have Top Gun. Could never land that, that plane. Could never land it. Uh, is that all my Super Nintendo? I guess I'll go to N64. Uh, Rush 2. Turok 3. The Turok games were my introduction to first person shooter. Wait. No, they weren't. Doom 1. But after that, it was Turok 3. Okay, here's the good one. Here's the good one. Uh, walked into a game exchange. Swear this story's true. 100% swear. I have the receipt somewhere. I don't remember where. Um, saw this for $6.99 and I swiped it. That is Conker's Bad Fur Day. We have Army Men Sarge's Heroes 2, Donkey Kong 64, Diddy Kong Racing, my favorite kart racer, better than Mario Kart, don't at me. Star Wars Shadows, Shadows of the Empire, Pokemon Stadium, love this game. Uh, it was either this one or the second one. Uh, I found out it was coming out. I'm pretty sure it was the first, this one, because it came with a transfer pack. Did the second one? I don't remember. But uh, it was like 70 bucks or something like that. And I saved up and saved up. The day came, I didn't have enough money. My mom bought it for me anyways. Isn't that nice? All right. Oh geez, all these games are falling. All right, here we go. Forsaken 64. Doom 64, ooh, that was loud, that scared me. Turok 2, Seeds of Evil. Fighting Force 64, I completely forgot that I bought this game back. This one got stolen like before, or did, I don't know if it got stolen, it disappeared before all the stealing stuff happened and I really always wanted it back, but I got it back, I guess, Yoshi Story. A second copy of Turok Seeds of Evil. Not sure why. I swear, is this a third? Okay, no. 
Star Wars Episode 1, Battle for Naboo. I don't remember having this game either. Man, I haven't looked at these in a while. GoldenEye 007. Never had this game as a kid, but got it later. Quake 2. Uh, the Turok game that I played the most, Turok Rage Wars, uh, this had a whole bunch of multiplayer maps. My friend and I, you could like fight bots and stuff in it. I played the crap out of this game. All right. I, what? I have two copies of Diddy Kong Racing? I told you guys, I haven't looked in this thing in maybe 20 years. Like, I'm not joking. Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue. I remember finding this at a Goodwill, actually. So some of them I do recall. Rampage World Tour. Never had this one as a kid, but got it at some point. Star Fox 64. The new Tetris. This game. Played a lot of this game. I'm not even that big into this genre, but uh, WCW World Tour versus NWO World Tour. Love this game so much. Uh, the wrestling games were good back in the day. I'm so excited for this. I didn't know I had all these. Didn't know I had this one. Never had as a kid. Jet Force Gemini. Turok 1. Ooh, that doesn't feel right. I don't know. Uh, Star Wars Shadows of the Empire, another copy. Ooh, this game got a lot of mileage in my N64 too. Pokemon Snap, so good. Tell me guys, please someone tell me that I'm not the only one who noticed that there's a cloud in one of the levels that looks like the Mighty Ducks logo. Like, legit, looks like it. I, I've Googled it, no one says anything about it. So, it's gotta just be in my head, but does anyone know? Does anyone notice? Magical Tetris Challenge. Miss Pac-Man Maze Madness. Is there any more? Uh, one random NBA Jam Genesis. Okay, we're on to the Super Nintendo. I have uh, not one, but two Super Game Boys. We have Final Fight. Super Mario All-Stars. You can tell which games I love the most. It's the only one with a cover. Uh, Zelda Link to the Past. Oh, by the way, I also have... Why are they not in here? I have Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, and I have Ocarina of Time complete in box, though. Super Mario Kart 64. I mean, <laughs> Super Mario Kart. Woo, games everywhere. All right, let's see. Super Scope, don't have the scope. Super Tennis. Donkey Kong Country, <laughs> great game. Who doesn't love Donkey Kong Country? Very underrated game, Donkey Kong Country 3. I like this game. If you don't, get with it. Oh, yeah. Donkey Kong Country 2. I have the box for this and like a photocopied manual from Game Exchange, but they're in rough shape. But uh, yeah, glad I still have all three Donkey Kong Countries. Super Mario World. The Lion King. What else we have in here? Okay, I found some more of my N64 games. We have, ooh, Dr. Mario 64 with uh, writing and stickers all over it. Why do people mutilate games like this? I remember finding this one at a thrift store too. Day Katana, I think is how you say it. And here's my copy of Majora's Mask. Mario Golf, I did not know I had this. If you would have bet me money, I would have said I don't have Mario Golf. <laughs> okay. Ooh, this game. Guys, this game is super underrated. If you haven't played it, I mean emulate it or get it. Uh, super James Pond. Great platformer, so fun. Jack Nichols, Jack Nicholas Golf. This dude is still golfing, and he looks old even on the cart. Look at that. 
He was old even back then. World League Soccer? I don't know what happened. This thing got destroyed. What's it say on the back? Wal Walmart video? Walmart had a video area? Look at that. Walmart video. Wow. Okay. Star Fox. Uh, didn't have this as a kid, but I recently beat it. Not recently. It was like six years ago, maybe. I guess that's kind of recent. Um, Eric Van. I appreciate the Super Godzilla. Thank you, Eric Van. I uh, found this one at a thrift store as well. Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. Um, Mega Man 64, which I hear this is better than uh, Mega Man Legends because you actually get dual uh, joystick control. Okay, now we're on to Sega Genesis. We have Sonic the Hedgehog. Don't know where to put it. Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Sonic the Hedgehog. Wait. Yes, yeah, Spinball. Ooh, look at that. All the manuals and everything in there. Oh my gosh. Batman Forever. Oh. Sorry, guys, it's hard to reach. Okay. This game I got semi-recently. We have a Facebook group uh, called Game Club. It's like a book club for video games, and this one, and I, I got this to play on my Retron 5 Toy Story. Uh, Tecmo Super NBA Basketball. Then we have two Game Gear games, Judge Dredd, and... It's Sonic the Hedgehog. I don't know how to take it out of the case. <laughs> okay, guys, that's all the games in here, but uh, got a little bonus. Um, I'll just show you all the other stuff that's in here. I mean, it's cool stuff. If, I mean, if you don't want to see it, you can click off. If you do want to see it, you can stick around. If you stuck around, put... Put, uh... Cheese Whiz in the comments. We have an 8-bit link. We have a Suicide Squad en Enchantress. This is all stuff that I just put on top whenever I was packing at some point. I forgot I had this 30th Anniversary Edition Batman Dark Knight Returns Batman. We have uh, The Punisher. Real random stuff, huh guys? So to go with that 8-bit link, we have the 8-bit red link and the 8-bit white link. Yeah. We also have Ganondorf. Do you see do you see a uh, a theme here? We have Tetra. And we have Skull Kid. Alright guys. Uh, I got stuff everywhere now. But uh, thanks for watching. Again, I'm sorry that I haven't been putting out good videos like this, you know. Um, stick with me, I promise. We got some good stuff down the line. Um, thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, all that good stuff if you feel so inclined. And I'll see you guys later.